It has been fantastic to see Casper have such a huge run to the upside. We covered this previously, talking about these almost 30,000% gains in just 400 days. But when we take a look at the price action on the daily time frame, we can see it bouncing between 11.5 cent and 15.5 cent. Where is the macro time frame uh, price action going here for Casper? And on these lower time frames, we can see it fell just short of our previous target area here between 15 and 15.8 cent. So we now have to understand where is the price going for Casper? What has happened since the last video? What is likely to happen next? We're going to cover off everything. But first of all, run the intro. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Cheeky Crypto Uncensored. Let's talk all things Casper today. Casper has been doing some fantastic things most recently and I think you know it's probably best here to actually cover off what is really going on. But let's start off here on that four hour time frame. So of course we were targeting out 15.066 cent to as high as 15.868 cent here on the MEXC four hour time frame. So we have seen the price fall just shy of here topping out at 15 cent exactly we have found the area of resistance here for casper and of course from here we can see we have broke down now internally we do see a five wave structure on this breakdown let's drop this one down to the one hour time frame inside of here we do have a nested five wave structure starting off this move to the downside followed up by another five wave move to the downside followed up by another extended five wave move to the downside so we know we have this deep retracement and from here well we can see we have seen a correction to the upside which is absolutely fantastic to see let's first of all take note of this correction however we can see we did see a drop around about 23.37 percent which is obviously quite nasty but this drop within itself being a five wave move we can see we have seen this correction now this correction does look to be a five wave structure however it is but it is not it is simply a corrective move within itself we're looking at this as a w x y x and z structure so we can see the 100 percent move of this w wave or this initial movement we will take over to that next wick low we can see this y wave coming up to test out the 1.382 fibonacci level right here at 13.2275 on the 30th of december at 8 p.m utc so we now know that we have hit that 1.382, the requirement for a Y wave. Now what we will do next here is take the inverse measurement of this W wave, where we can see the first X wave or the first retracement not breaching that 100%. We will then take over to this next Fibonacci, uh, this next um, candle wick high, and we will look for the Fibonacci levels of interest here. Now we are looking to come down to at least the 50% retracement area of 1.25546, with the lower area down here at one point, uh, sorry, 12.0735, apologies. And we can see over here on the 14th of December, the price did drop down into here. So we can say that potentially that X wave is complete with the price dropping on down. But what we can note the most recently, hourly candle dropping past that 200 AMA, we may see this one drop down a little bit further. So we know that we have the requirements met here for the secondary X wave. Internally, this structure may or may not be complete. We could look at this one as a big a b and c structure with still some more room to the downside this one here would actually take us down a little bit further perhaps testing out that 50 sma here currently priced around about 12.3 we could see that c wave come on down we will mark this one up guys 12.3584 with a low of 12.2007 that would be the area of interest if this is to continue dropping to the downside from there i would then expect another push to the upside in this c wave now for this of course we still have this fibonacci level handy here this is the 100 percent of the initial w wave we bring that over to our x wave low so let's say we come down test out that 200 sma well we then know that we have this um, typical retracement area or the typical target area however you would like to phrase that one for the z wave coming up here between 13.09 um, and 13.94 cent now of course we updated this earlier on down in discord for all of our members that is of course linked in the description down below get up to date ta on request whenever it is you decide you want it 
obviously we can get this done as quickly as possible getting on these trades before it's too late we've seen some fantastic pumps to the upside recently for many projects many of our members taking advantage of these making some fantastic trades so link in the description down below is of course our discord to take full advantage of the trading opportunities but now guys we will jump over onto that daily time frame so as I spoke about, we are ranging between the 11.51 and the 15.48 cent level, telling us that um, yeah, that wave four in itself is not yet complete. Now, invalidation of this whole five wave structure, of course, comes all the way down here at 5.3 treble nine. So we know we have a lot of room to play with here. Now, typically, a wave four should not breach lower than that 50% retracement level. So we know we still have plenty of room to play with here. This can still come down a fair, a considerable, considerable amount. I don't think that is a risk as of now. Now, we can see the minimum expectation would, of course, be at the 0 0.236 Fibonacci level, coming at 11.3189 cent. And I don't believe we have actually reached down towards this level as of yet. We have not actually met the minimum expectation for that fourth wave so in my opinion we still have some more room to the downside to come typical retracement for the fourth wave of course coming down between 9.3 and 7.9 cent i think it would be a, a steep drop to see the price come down to here but considering the the, the position of the four hour and the eight hour stochastics we could indeed see a bit of a collapse in price here before you know, we do look for that final push to the upside here for Casper. So overall, everything is kind of um, it's ranging, but it's also playing out as expected here for the, the price action of Casper. We did speak about this previous um, range that we are stuck in between 11.5 and 15.4. A breach higher confirms the fifth wave. A breach lower confirms we're still in that wave four. And yeah, my, my, my feelings, my inclination here is that we are still stuck in that wave four. We will look for more of a retracement to come down. I like the idea of coming down to the 10 cent level. Level, then getting in on a nice long position if that were to be the case let's just say we did come down to test out the 10 cent level which would be that mid level of the fair value gap then we could be looking at quite a profitable trade on the table we would of course be looking to push up towards the 20 cent level give or take yeah you're looking at another 100 percent pump to the upside the lower end here the 1.236 is 69 percent pump to the upside so i do think after a retracement i do still think we have a bit more to the downside still to come from here i do expect to see a fantastic push to the upside for Casper. So that, of course, then begs the question, is the, 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 the push to the upside over those 413 days, that 29,900% push, is that all we have for CAS? And in my opinion, it is not. Now, of course, we have been watching out that C-Wave target area here between 14.2885 and 20.3224. Now, that met the lower expectation um, on this push to the upside we know the internal count of this move in itself though we're looking for this to be a five wave structure with that fourth wave not yet complete we still expect this one to push on to the upside begging the question that you know we may still have a ridiculous amount of um, profit to to be had here for the the price action of casper where we could see this one let's just talk about this upper level here we could be looking at this as a forty thousand percent gain overall for casper since um the 26th of september 2022 which is absolutely insane now of course there is still the outside chance of pushing on up to this higher level between 98 and two dollars 79 you would of course look at that as a bigger a b and c structure that is a lot of hope in there. I think it would be ridiculously hard to see the price get on up to there considering the move that's happened already. The weekly stochastic in itself is resetting to the downside. So I never say never. But I do think we need to see this price push on up one last time into this fifth wave of the C wave before we then look for the retracements. We have two key areas highlighted here between 3.2 and 2.8 cent, a previous area of support term resistance. Then of course we have a lower level here of 1.1 cent down to around about 0 0.8 cent, another area of previous support term resistance. I would like to see the price come on back down to test these before we do see that next um, volatile sharp move to the upside, which I do believe Casper still has in it. But guys, it's just a brief update, a quick update on all things Casper. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below. Let me also know your expectations, your targets, everything all about Casper. It's always fantastic to hear what you guys have going on, your targets, expectations, blah, blah, blah. It's always fantastic, guys. We appreciate it when you do that for us. And we also appreciate it when you smash up that like button, you subscribe, and you tap on that bell. Greatly helps the channel. It helps get this content out to many like-minded people in the space as possible. We will thank you for doing that for us, guys. And of course, if you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss. Make some great gains. Stay safe in the space. And until next time, have a very nice day.